shoots tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll see you after that. Okay, bye. of the doppelganger! She looks at me after all that and has the nerve to say, <gasps> Martin. Martin, what are you doing? Duh, what does it look like? I'm surfing. Are you getting this? Because I'm totally awesome. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll bite. Why are you surfing? Martin model. Oh, well, uh, not yet, but I was scouted to enter this year's Torrington Academy yeah. Student Calendar Modeling Contest. Modeling Contest? <laughs> <laughs> Please, like how shallow can you get? Uh-oh, sounds to me like someone's a little jealous. Uh, me? Jealous? Get real! Lending your face to a frivolous calendar is totally pointless. Not to mention tacky. <laughs> I think you're jealous because nobody asks you to enter. <laughs> <laughs> the center! Huh. It's coming from here. Probably too busy looking at your reflection in the machine. Just making sure I'm still styling. My sister is just jealous because I'm gonna be a calendar model. Wow, what a coinky dink! <gasps> I was a supermodel on my home planet. Whoa, cool! <laughs> <laughs> to concentrate. Whoa, alien chess! This I gotta see! Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh. uh. For your assignment, you'll be going to Montreal, Canada to investigate the report of a woman whose face was erased. <sighs> erased? That's horrible! It could be a result of a creepy alien attack. I do say that is quite the immature view of your intergalactic neighbors. We are, in fact, intellectual beings that thrive on a sense of camaraderie and fairness. Ha! <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen Martin speechless. You must come over more often. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder 
what a faceless person looks like. <laughs> I've so got this modeling gig in the bag. <laughs> the only thing that's gonna be in the bag is your head. Speaking of which, is this the new style? What? <laughs> hey, quit it! Oh, now I've got static in my hair. Drop a hairspray, please. You're kidding. What? It gets rid of static in no time. See? Yeah, weird. Sophie? Sophie, are you here? When mom said erased, she wasn't kidding. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get a pen and some paper so we can communicate with her. She says there was an electric shadow, then darkness. Uh, there was no pain, just a smooth surface where her face once was. Wow, she was very beautiful and very photogenic, like me. Um, hello? <laughs> she still has ears, Martin. Oh, we'll do everything we can to find out what happened. Now, why don't you tell me where you were when the shadow appeared? Right here, at the vanity. Hmm, maybe there's a clue. I doubt it, since we're obviously dealing with an angry spirit of some kind. Oh, really? Well, maybe you could tell me what kind of spirit leaves a handprint. Well, the, uh, not-so-spirity kind. <laughs> I'll just scan this and send it to Billy for analysis. You watch activated. Bioscan selected. And while we wait, Java can take some pics of me around town for the calendar. Yeah, Java photographer. <sighs> Don't forget my good side. Oh, and you'll need one of me pouting. Girls will love that. Hmm. If you're gonna be doing this for the entire mission, I huh? swear I'm gonna... <gasps> it came from down there. Come on! <laughs> I feel something tingling. <laughs> It's static electricity, just like in Sophie's apartment. It's everywhere. Whoa, it's like she's battling the shadow. Yeah, and losing. We have to do something. You must activate. x rod selected. Grab on and I'll pull you out. <laughs> Okay, that was definitely a 10 on the barometer of freakiness. Is she all right? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing she's been better. Martin, what's going on here? Maybe we're dealing with some kind of supernatural entity, uh, like a vampire. Only instead of sucking blood, it's sucking faces. We should probably check her ID. Valerie Broussard. <gasps> hey, get a load of this. She looks just like Sophie. I think it's time to call the center. No need. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Billy, you have to stop doing that. Especially in dark alleys. Sorry, Marty. Couldn't resist. So, what did the bioscan reveal? That the handprint belongs to a local woman, Michelle Dubois. They look like sisters. This can't just be a coincidence. Look like Diana. You're right. Although I have to say, this is one club I definitely don't want to be a part of. You haven't heard the rest. Although the handprint was an exact match, the small tissue traces contain no human DNA. You mean it's not human? Exactly. So if the handprint belongs to this person, Michelle, but she isn't a person, then what is she? I don't know, but we're about to find out.
Uh, oui, uh, Miss Dubois, she left town trois jours, uh, uh, three days ago. I remember she was in a very big hurry to leave. Au revoir. Yeah, thanks. I mean, merci. Michelle can't be out of town and stealing faces. She's got to be close by. Well, unless she's able to teleport. Ooh, or lucid dream. Or astral project. Uh, come on, we need to check out her place. Open window. like someone left in a hurry. Yeah, but who or what drove her away? <gasps> oh, more electric. Yeah, and I'm not liking it at all. <gasps> Over here. Looks like the remains of some kind of weird ceremony. <laughs> oh, what smell? Human hair. No other smell like it. Ugh, freaky. Wonder what burnt hair is doing here. Looks like it's part of a spell. A spell to exorcise a doppelganger. A doppelganger? Isn't that like your twin or something? Not exactly. Uh, see? According to legend, every person on Earth has a doppelganger. Most of the time, it's just that tiny voice inside your head that tells you to do things you know you shouldn't. Like, uh, that little evil guy on your shoulder in cartoons? Oh, right. Only sometimes, the doppelganger can get out of control and have a kind of fatal attraction to you. It's so overpowering a force that it actually manifests itself in reality. <laughs> That's a little unlikely, don't you think? Well, I mean, technically it's possible because the brain's impulses are electromagnetic. But to have them magnified to such an extent... <laughs> It's trying to tell us something. I think it's telling us to get out! Michelle must have used a spell to separate herself from her doppelganger. And now it's trying to find her again, which explains the not-so-human handprint at Sophie's. Your theory still doesn't explain the face stealing. J Java want to leave? Huh? <gasps> it's simple. The doppelganger can't find the real Michelle because of the spell. But when it finds someone that looks like her, it gets angry and steals her face. Well, then we have to find Michelle before the doppelganger hurts anyone else. How we find? Dear Sarah, having a great time at the cottage. North Hatley isn't the same without you. Love, Michelle. Anyone up for a drive to North Hatley? everywhere when the sun isn't even out. There. Good work, John. <laughs> Michelle? Michelle Dubois? Please, it's urgent. It's about your doppelganger. How do you know about me? And how do you know about it? It? Your doppelganger? is stealing faces from women who look like you. I think you'd better let us in. Now. <laughs> We're here to help. My name is Diana, that's Martin, and that's Java. We were back at your apartment when... <sighs> <laughs> a thing out there huh so when did your doppelganger first appear almost four years ago at first it was great but soon it began to tear my life apart <gasps> you brought it with you <gasps> wait you have to tell us what happened we don't have much time all right i had just made partner at a prestigious law firm i had a fiance and great friends but it ruined everything for me it's coming back <laughs> So 
you thought the only way to get rid of your doppelganger was to exercise it? Yes, I thought it worked, but obviously... Look, we have to banish the doppelganger once and for all. Michelle, I need to know exactly what you did during the exorcism. Okay, I took a lock of hair and a picture. I tore the picture in two, making sure the tear was down the center of the face. And then I had to burn one end of the lock of the hair and say the incantation. That was it. Oh, it seems like a straightforward separation ritual to me. We need to... sad for Diana. Take her into the closet over there. I don't think we have much time before it realizes it got Diana instead of Michelle. It's coming for me. You're right. Now you're either gonna wait for it to find you, or you're gonna help me banish it for good. What's it gonna be? <sighs> what do you want me to do? We have to do what you did before, only now we have to do it backwards. Then it'll be a binding spell. A binding spell? But I don't want to be attached. I know you don't, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. She's taping the picture back together now. Undone chains the shadow into one. One becomes again. One without two. Chains the shadow into one. One becomes again one without two. Oh. Just one thing left to do before we are joined once more. I have to leave the circle. <laughs> Nothing like a little hairspray to get pesky static under control. Now what do we do? Call in reinforcements. Contain the target. Make sure there are no conductive agents in the retarding solution. Is Diana all right? Just fine, thanks. Good. The other victims also have their faces back. Mm, that poor doppelganger. She's really just lonely. You know, after seeing you like that, I think you're right. Doing the Torrington student calendar is vain. My face is way too precious to lend out like that. Wow, Martin, that's so... mature. I'm totally impressed.
Java's so proud. Why? I'm not even in it. No way! I don't believe it! Uh, not Java's favorite. Page six even better. What is this? She's on every page! In the library, the computer room, the language lab? Huh? Okay, what's the big idea? Take it easy. Uh, Jenny just entered me as a joke. Uh, but when they chose me and said it was going to be about the studious student, <laughs> well, I couldn't refuse. So you were just jealous of me. Well, you can call it whatever you like. Look, Martin Model 2. your best side. Uh, personally, I think the girls are gonna love it. <laughs> if they can stop laughing long enough. <laughs> oh, come on, Martin. It was just a joke. <laughs> hey, hey, why don't you save that pouting for the camera? <laughs> hey, Sam. I heard Danny Phantom's replacing you with a prettier girl. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. If you're not watching Prank Patrol on YTV, the joke's on you. Prank Patrol, Tuesdays at 7.30.